everybody. I hope you're all well. Today is Friday the 18th of February and this is a way an update but I'm going to add a mini vlog on to the end of it because it's snowing! Yay! We are currently getting the heaviest snow that we've had here since we moved almost four years ago and I did say yesterday that I would vlog it if it happened because it's very rare because we're right on the coast we hardly ever see snow. Um, and I believe that further inland and higher up, it's a lot, lot worse. So if you're out and about today, please stay safe and take care. Anyway, I'm going to do my way and update first. And that way, if that's all that you're here for, you can leave after that. But if you want to find out what I end up getting up to today, which is probably not a lot, it definitely looks like an indoorsy kind of day. But I would imagine if there's still snow when Brooke comes in from school, she'll be wanting to play in it or something. Let's wait and see. So my weigh in update, as you may know, I get 1,293 calories a day. I'm using the NutriCheck app to, cap, to track my calories. And I also do intermittent fasting and I eat usually between half past 10 and half past six through the day and I fast the rest of the time. I also save calories through the week so that I can enjoy my treats at the weekend. Right, how was my diet this week? It was actually great. I'm still really enjoying it. I'm still not having a problem tracking my calories. I'm probably a wee bit stuck in the rut with my food because I like what I'm eating and it's easy. So I'm just going with it. I'm still having porridge. In fact, this week I did have porridge and fruit every single day for my lunch. And I still have a coffee every morning to break my fast. Um, what else? I've had a couple of WW meals. I've been having salmon with sweet corn and eggs. So that's been really good, like protein wise and getting a little bit of veg in because I'm terrible with my fruit and veg. So yeah, I have generally done really well. I've never been over my calories any day because I my eating week goes from Monday to Sunday, but I'm weighing on a Friday. It's a little bit difficult to sort of say what's happened calorie wise but what I will say is at the end of the weekend on Sunday I still had about 38 calories left I think so even with all the treats that I had at the weekend and there were a few I had a McDonald's and I had lots of chocolate and crisps but it was all within my calories I was organised on Sunday, we went out to a canny cross race and I did vlog it but unfortunately managed to delete all the files but I knew that I would, by the time I'd finished marshalling, it was, I knew it was going to be a very cold and wet day, and it was. I knew I would be starving, and I would want to go to either the fast food van or the cafe or, you know, just grab whatever. So I was very organised, and I took a flask of the Scotty brand lentil soup with me, and I shared that with Jack. So once I'd finished marshalling, well, it must have been about 12 o'clock, I think, I had half of the tub of the Scotty brand soup and it was gorgeous, it was so warming and it was just a really nice change, it was nice and filling because I was really hungry, so that was good, we're definitely going to do that again next time we go to the Canny Cross races, so I've tracked that and like I said I had a McDonald's at night as well, so I was quite pleased with myself for being organised. I think the only other new thing that I've had this week was a fruit tea. Hold on, I'll get it for you. Now, generally, I can't stand tea. Ugh, really, I've never liked it. I can't even drink herbal teas, green teas, peppermint teas, anything like that. But because it's been so cold recently, I've been enjoying having the hot um, Vimto winter warmer. And I wanted a wee change from that. So I looked at the tea section to see if I could get a fruit tea that wasn't tea, if you know what I mean. Because I've tried fruit teas in the past and they still tasted of tea. And I saw this one, Tetley, super fruits, immune with vitamin C, help support your immune system. And it's a fruit infusion with peach and orange. It is five calories per serving. So I thought I would give it a try just to see. And I actually quite enjoy it. I couldn't drink a lot of it, but just as a wee change from the Vimto, it's nice. Uh, it wasn't tea at all, <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't taste the tea at all, but it wasn't quite sweet enough for me. I've got a real sweet tooth. 
So what I ended up doing, the first time I had it, I added some sweetener and it was okay. But the second time and onwards, I added a little drop of the cinnamon swirl skinny coffee syrup. And that's zero calories and that was really nice because it was fruity with a hint of cinnamon. Really, really nice. So that's the only other new thing that I have had this week. And I have really enjoyed it. I've not had any struggles, I've not been hungry, I've not wanted to binge or anything. I think because I'm having a little bit of chocolate every day, it's definitely making a difference to me. I don't feel deprived and I know that I'm going to have my weekend treats coming up, so I look forward to that. I did try the Bliskoff bar that everybody's been raving about. Well, not everybody. Some people love them, some people not so keen. And I eventually got hold of them and I did show that in a vlog. And I really wasn't keen at all. I didn't think it tasted of Biscoff. And the texture wasn't quite as nice as some of the other skinny bars. It was a bit like a protein bar. So I wouldn't buy them again. I will finish the box, but I've never had another one yet. So enough rambling. How did I get on? Now, Last week I changed my weigh day to the Friday, so I had weighed on the Monday and then I weighed again on the Friday. So within that four days I had lost one and a half pounds and I was really pleased. So that meant that I was 145.8 pounds last Friday and today when I stepped on the scales I was 145.2 pounds. So I've lost 0.6 pounds or just over half a pound. And at first I was a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie, I was a wee bit disappointed and then I thought, wait a minute, add that to the one and a half pounds from the four days last week, that's two pounds over two weeks and that's what I'm looking to lose, a pound a week. So I'm happy and at the end of the day, as long as it's coming off and not going on, why would we complain? <laughs> so definitely I am happy about it. It was that little bit of, oh, I wanted the first number to change but... I am happy. A pound a week is fine by me. Next week, I'm going to have a bit of a challenge, I think, because my father-in-law is coming to stay on Monday, I think. And usually when he's here, we get a takeaway of some kind. And I don't know if the NutriCheck app is going to be able to find what it is that I get. I have had a look and there is some general Chinese takeaway calories on there so i'll see what i get and see if i can track it if not what i'll do is i'll just put the NutriCheck app to my maximum calories for that day and then calorie calorie on <laughs> calorie on and then just carry on the rest of the week and if it means that i have a bit of a gain next week at least i'll know what it was i'm not going to stress out about it because this is life and life happens i'm not going to not have a takeaway with the family just because I'm calorie counting. I'm back below the 10 and a half stone anyway, which is what I wanted. So anywhere between now, uh, between this and nine and a half stones, a bit, a bit much, I think. So anywhere between now, here and 10 stone, I'll be happy. So that's where I am at. Other than that, I've not got anything else coming up this weekend. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get shopping on Sunday if the roads have cleared, but I think it's to clear up by tomorrow, the snow anyway, so uh, especially around our way. So that is everything about me this week, but how did Donna do? If you've been watching, you'll know that my cousin Donna is also on a calorie control diet. She started doing it when she saw me using the NutriCheck app and she's been really enjoying it as well. So I'm going to pop a photo of Donna in now and let you know how she did. This week Donna lost two pounds and her sister Emma lost eight pounds. So that is everything for my weigh-in update this week. Let me know how you have got on with your journey. If you are on any kind of journey, I don't care if it's calorie counting, Slimming World, Keto, anything at all, let me know how you're doing. And if you are leaving now, then thank you so much for joining me. I will see you for my way and update next week. And if you're hanging around to see what I get up to the rest of the day, then come with me. Let's see what's going to happen. I will show you what happened when I got up this morning. It's snowing. Yay. Yay. I'm going to walk down my phone. Oh, I'm going to go to the window just in case. No. <laughs> See you like, oh, there's a cat. It's like, have you seen that white stuff, Brooke? I don't know if I like that white stuff. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's 
to be a nut. Like, <laughs> moment. Brooke is away to school. I am hoping, because it's meant to be a lot worse inland, I'm hoping that she doesn't get stuck there and if the snow is going to get bad, hopefully they will send them home early and the bus will get her early because I sure ain't driving in that. No chance. Um, I do worry when it's snowing and Brooke's on the school bus, I have to say, because the, the road, the coastal road around here is quite hairy anyway. It's very narrow and although there's not a lot of snow on it because it's at the coast, I still do worry about the bus and I worry about other drivers going too quickly on their side of the road, not thinking about a bus coming the other way. So I do worry. So hopefully everything will be okay with Brooke on the bus. Anyway, I'm going to head off just now and I will catch up with you later on. Oh, before I do, <laughs> what am I like? When I was talking there about what happened at the weekend and the fact that I did vlog on Sunday and then lost all the files. We finally watched The King's Man on Sunday and it was amazing. For anyone who doesn't know, it's the third it's the third in the series it's the third Kingsman film to be released. But it's the prequel, so it's a bit of a Star Wars situation. And it basically tells you the story of how the Kingsman was set up. Brilliant film. Now, as I mentioned recently about the book that I was reading about the Titanic, which I loved and finished it and really enjoyed it, I don't like period things and war things and history things, but this was set in basically about 1912, it, not 1912, 1914, I'm back thinking about the Titanic, and it was during the war. And I thought, I'm not going to like this, but I loved it. Because again, the way it was filmed, it didn't feel like, it wasn't a war film, it wasn't about the war. But what they did was they took a lot of the, the historical facts and used them in amongst the story, which was really clever. And there was a lot of references to the future Kingsman, which were really cleverly done. And if you have watched the other films, you'll pick up on a lot of them. There's a lot of references to the mirrors. Um, where they, they now keep the, the weapons in the future Kingsman films. There's a lot of references. They go into the same rooms that they use in the future Kingsman films, but obviously back then, you know, a hundred and odd years ago, they were very different, but you still recognise them as that room. They didn't have the technology that they've got now, but they're still really clever. And yeah, brilliant. Really, really good film. Still a lot of comedy moments in it, but really good. I highly recommend it. If you like the Kingsman films, definitely watch it. It's on Disney Plus at the moment, but I don't know if you can get it on other platforms as well. Right, I am going to go this time and I'll catch up with you soon. What are you doing to Gran, you go? You're Gran. You cuddling. Yeah. Here's Granny Annie. Good morning. On the gin. On the gin, of course. <laughs> A.K.A. Vinto. I'm fine. <laughs> Actually, all your little gins from your advent calendar still sitting in my cupboard, apart from the ones that you took in to I have with that. That's a drunk one. No, I've got them. Oh, for God's sake. Um, right, so today's task for Granny Annie is to cut names for her boxes. I'm not forgetting to show you the boxes, they're just not ready yet. So that's what I'm going to get up to now. Good, good, good. The snow stopped. Boo! <laughs> Hopefully, it'll start again later. <sighs> It's ten past one and I'm frustrated, as I always get when I'm trying to do my mum's names. The name works out fine, but trying to add other things, if the writing or the font is too small, it just doesn't cut properly. Does anybody else have that problem with the Cricut? Trying to cut cardboard when it's like quite small and I'm just frustrated. So I've gave up for now. Oh, I don't know if it's the card that I'm using, if it's my uh, blade that's blunt. I just, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I've just had a wee delivery. I've had my um, my UV resin that I ordered yesterday from J. Dixon has arrived. So I've got two bottles that size. Um, and also the little necklace bales that I ordered for attaching charms and pendants to necklaces. Oh! I didn't show you. I made a bracelet and a matching pendant the other day. Wait, I'll show you. 
So I'm calling this set the Key to My Heart set and whoops. So it's just like a stretchy bracelet and it's got a heart and a key dangle on there and on the back it's got a made, lo made with love heart on it and that is a little woohoo little sort of pendant dangle type thing that I've made for on a necklace that matches it. What do you think? I like them. I could maybe make earrings. I was thinking about making earrings to match and making one the key and one the heart. Um, but I've just not got around to doing it yet. So yes, I'm very frustrated, but I've just had my lunch. I've had my porridge and banana again because I wanted to face plant the chocolate. It's the first time that I've felt like that since starting calorie counting. But I'm not going to. No, I'm going to behave. I've had my porridge and I'm fine. I'm going to move on to something else away from the cricket. Because it frustrates me when it doesn't do what I want it to do. <laughs> so, and this snow's away. Boo. But we were going to get lots of snow. It's all away. I don't know what it's like inland, but it's all away now here. Which is rubbish. Anyway, I'm going to head off just now and I will come back to you later. Oh, hello. It's quarter to four. Look at Hugo. <laughs> The snow came to absolutely nothing here, unfortunately. So that's a bit boring. Um, Brooke will be in, in about 45 minutes or so. So I'm going to go and try starting dinner once Abby's out the road. She's making a cheesy pasta. Yes, I have got white wool on my hair. Abby put it there without telling me. So I just thought I would let you see what I have been up to this afternoon. Because I was fed up with the cricket. Look, remember I showed you in yesterday's vlog the wooden letters that Granny Annie got me from Hobbycraft? That's them now. And I just used the Easter washi tape on it. And I think they look brill. And I had tried to colour these ones with the metallic paint pens, but it was horrible. So I'm just painting them again in white and I'll probably just do the same. And then I'm not sure whether I'm going to put Mod Podge on them or if I'm going to put resin on it. I'll wait and see. I might put Mod Podge on and if I'm not happy with it, I might then put some resin on. But the other thing that I got today was this, which is a mould for little baby things. So look, there's a pram, baby feet, a nappy pin with a heart. Uh, what else have we got? A little teddy thing. Or oh, a stork carrying the baby. Uh, a pram. What's that there? What is that? A rattle maybe? Um, but there's a rocking horse somewhere as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's a rocking horse as well. Look at the state of Hugo. He's got the toy wrapped round him. <laughs> You are get it. <laughs> yeah. Yay, did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's the, the teddy bear and the stork. Uh, it's a rattle when you see it that way up. And the rocking horse. So I'm going to use this either for polymer clay or for resin for um, wee embellishments like for Granny Annie's boxes and any other wee bits and pieces. So I forgot I had ordered that from Etsy actually, Granny Annie got me to order it. So, Etsy, really? Yes, Etsy. One of your favourite sites. Yeah. Abby loves Etsy. Um, right, so I'm going to head just now and sort the dog's dinner and make my dinner once Abby's out the road. And I'm having something different tonight for a wee change. Woo! <laughs> Right, so dinner tonight is going to be uh, one of the frozen McCain jacket potatoes. I'm just going to shove that in the microwave and that is 202 calories for the potato. It was coming up on Nutritrek as 160, so I changed it all because it, the information was completely wrong and I don't know if it was maybe, um, if it's maybe been updated or something like the the box has maybe been updated with nutrition info. They've maybe changed the way they cook them or something. I don't know. Anyway, so on it I'm going to have some beans and some cheese. Not the most exciting, but at least it's a bit different. <laughs> and there's my dinner. So it's one of the jacket potatoes with 30 grams of mozzarella. You can't see it because it's under the beans. I didn't put any butter on. I thought if I put the cheese on first, the beans will melt it and it will make the potato moist without having to use butter and half a tin of beans so it's 446 calories for dinner which to be honest is quite a bit higher than 
a WW meal, but at least it makes a wee change, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I think I would rather have chilli and wedges for 300 calories, <laughs> to be honest, but never mind, I'll enjoy this anyway. Well, I didn't really enjoy my dinner, to be honest. It was okay, but um, about a quarter of the potato was still cold, even although I had it in for longer than it said. Anyway, I ate all the cheese and beans and gave the cold bit potato to the dogs. So I'm going to have a wee dessert now, and it's one of those light chocolate fixed layers, the chocolate and caramel one, for 69 calories. Fruit should be in any minute. I've got her pizza in the oven, just for a change. <laughs> Oh, the pussycat. He's been lying on my heat press. <laughs> he was in your room most of the afternoon. He'll be needing out at some point. Oh, there he goes. Um, so the weather wasn't too bad, but you were throwing snowballs. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. <Good>. Excellent. <laughs> uh, what else was And you're just taking logs in for Gran. You're a good girl. You're you very go. good. I was going to send the cat and you go. Ah, good idea. <laughs> Well, hello everybody. It's only six o'clock, but as you can see, I'm in my bed. I've not even got any snacks with me or anything. I've not had anything since that wee chocolate dessert. And to be honest, I'm exhausted. I've got a thumping headache and I'm just not feeling great. So Jack's playing the Xbox and I've decided to just come to bed beside the wee puppies. Look, it is the puppies. Don't know where Hugo is. Um, and just chill out. I think my chronic fatigue's maybe playing up a bit. That's that kind of feeling that I've got. But I'm not going to moan because I hate moaning. So, um, yeah, I don't know how much of a vlog this has been. I was disappointed that I didn't get much snow. But it's a good thing that we've not been affected by Storm Eunice, really. We had a wee bit of snow this morning. We did get battered a bit by, was it Storm Dudley? Um, the winds were really bad. But other than that, we've been lucky. So I hope wherever you are, You've not been badly affected. I've not got anything planned for the weekend, which is probably a good thing if my chronic fatigue is flaring up. Anyway, oh, here's Hugo. Here he comes. Are you coming up, big dog? Come on, then. Here he is. Come on, then. Look, I'm trying to heave himself up onto the bed. There he goes. Good boy. <laughs> right, so I'm going to head off now, and uh, please talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button for me, and I will see you. <laughs> okay, Willa. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one, whenever that may be. Thanks, everyone. Bye.